Hello and welcome to another episode of today's SHK. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. Let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. With reference to Chakravarti Raj Gopalachari, consider the following statements. He was the first Governor General of Independent India. He opposed the launch of the Quetanya movement. He carried out a salt march at Vedaranyam in the Madras Presidency. We have to select the correct statement. So first, second as well as third. All are correct. The correct answer is option D. Chakravarti Raj Gopalachari, popularly known as Rajanji, was born in December. Now, 1878, and he became the chairperson of the municipality of Salim in 1917 and served there for two years. In 1954, he was honored with India's highest civilian award, Bharat Ratna, died on 25th December 1972. Non cooperation movement where it was conducted, he met Mahatma Gandhi for the first time there in 1919 in Madras, that is now Chennai and also participated in Gandhiji's non-cooperation movement. He was also jailed for two years in Velour in 1920 and after his release, he opened his own ashram to promote Gandhi's principle of Hindu-Muslim harmony and the abolition of untouchability. He was also a proponent of Khadi and when Gandhiji led the Dandi march to break the Saul law in 1930, Rajkopalachari carried out a similar march at Vedaranyam in Madras Presidency he also became the editor of Gandhiji's newspaper, Young India. And during the Quit India movement, he opposed Gandhiji. Moving on. He was of the view that the British were going to leave the country eventually, so launching another Satyagra was not a good decision. In 1947, during the absence of Lord Mountbatten, the last British Viceroy and independent India's first Governor General, Raj Gopalachari was temporarily chosen to hold the office. Moving on. Consider the following statements regarding Imaging X-ray Polarimetry Explorer, IXPE. A space observatory is a joint effort of NASA and the European Space Agency. It is NASA's first mission to study the polarization of X-rays from many different types of celestial objects. So we have to select the correct answer. First is incorrect because it is a space ob observatory, although this is true, but it is a joint effort of NASA and Italian Space Agency. Second is correct. First is incorrect. The correct answer should be option B. Recently, NASA launched a new mission named Imaging X-ray Polarimeter Explorer or IXPE on board SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. It was sent to its orbit from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. IXPE Observatory is a joint effort of NASA and the Italian Space Agency. The mission will study the most extreme and mysterious objects in universe supernova remnants, supermassive black holes, and dozens of other high-energy objects. The mission's primary length is two years and the observatory will be 600 km altitude, orbiting around Earth's equator. IXPE is expected to study about 40 celestial objects in first year in space. Moving on, it is NASA's first mission to study the polarization of X-ray may reveal the origin of the light, including the geometry and inner workings of the source of light from many different types of celestial objects. Moving on, consider the following statements regarding Ramanuja Prize. The award is given to young mathematicians from developing countries. The prize is funded by the Department of Science and Technology and the researchers working in any branch of the mathematical sciences are eligible. So we have to select the correct answer or answers. All three are correct. The correct answer is option D. The Ramanujan Prize for young mathematicians from developing countries has been awarded annually since 2005. It is administered by the Abdus Salam International Center for Theoretical Physics jointly with the Department of Science and Technology and the International Mathematical Unit. The DST has agreed to fund the prize starting with the 2014 prize. It has been supported by DST in the memory of Srinivas Ramanujan, a genius in pure mathematics. It is awarded to a researcher from a developing country who is less than 45 years of age on 31st December of the year of the award and who has conducted outstanding research in a developing country. Moving on, researchers working in any branch of the mathematical sciences are eligible and the prize carries a USD 15,000 cash award. Moving on, with reference to the Hunar Hearts, consider the following statements. Honar Hart is an exhibition of handicrafts and traditional products made by artisans. 
these are organized by the ministry of culture under ustad that is upgrading the skills and training in traditional arts craft for development scheme we have to select the correct statement hunar haat is an exhibition of handicrafts and traditional products made by artisans is correct and these are organized by ministry of minority affairs and not ministry of culture under the ustad scheme so first is correct the correct answer is option a the governor of gujarat has said that hunar haat is playing a pivotal role in protection and promotion of the thousands years old ancestral legacy of arts and craftsmanship of the country hunar haat is an exhibition of handicrafts and traditional products made by artisans from the minority communities moving on these are organized by the ministry of minority affairs under ustad the ustad scheme aims to promote and preserve the rich heritage of the traditional arts and crafts in the minority communities moving on these heart aim to provide market exposure and employment opportunities to artisans craftsmen and traditional culinary experts honar heart has proved to be an empowerment exchange for master artisans and craftsmen with reference to the international solar alliance consider the following statements the un has granted observer status to the international solar alliance it is headquartered in gurugram haryana and isa is the nodal agency for implementing one sun one world one grid 1 to 3 all are correct the correct answer is option d recently the united nations general assembly has granted observer status to the international solar alliance and it will help provide for regular and well defined cooperation between the alliance and the united nations that would benefit global energy growth and development the headquarters in india with its interim secretariat being set up in gurugram of haryana ISA is the nodal agency for implementing one sun one world one grid which seeks to transfer solar power generated in one region to feed the electricity demands of others moving on consider the following statements regarding unicef it became a permanent part of the united nations in 1946 it is guided by the convention on the rights of child 1989 it was awarded the nobel prize for peace in 1965 for promotion of brotherhood among the nations so we have to select the correct answer first is incorrect because it became a permanent part of the un in 1953 second and third are correct the correct answer is option b that is 2 and 3 only the 75th anniversary of unicef is being commemorated this week presidents government ministers senior united nations leadership unicef ambassadors partners and children and young people are gathering at events around the world to commemorate it UNICEF is a special program of the United Nations devoted to aiding national efforts to improve the health, nutrition, education and general welfare of children. It was created in 1946 as International Children's Emergency Fund by the UN Relief Rehabilitation Administration to help children affected by World War II. It became a permanent part of United Nations in 1953. UNICEF is guided by the Convention on Rights of the Children of 1989. moving on it strives to establish children's rights as enduring ethical principles and international standards of behavior towards children it was awarded the nobel prize for peace in 1965 for promotion of brotherhood among the nations consider the following statements with respect to g7 the g7 is headquartered at geneva switzerland it is an intergovernmental organization that was formed in 1985 so we have to select the correct answer uh, from the statements First is incorrect because the G7 doesn't have any permanent headquarters. Second is also incorrect because it was formed in 1975. So, option D is the right answer here. The group of seven nations has warned that Russia will have to face massive consequences and pay severe costs if President Vladimir Putin attacks Ukraine. It is an intergovernmental organization. It was formed in 1975. It meets annually to discuss issues of common interest. like global economic governance international security and energy policy currently britain uk is the president of g7 for this year the g7 countries are uk canada france germany italy japan and the us earlier russia was also a part of it but now it's a part of g8 and all the g7 members are a part of g20 the g7 does not have a formal constitution or a fixed headquarter The decision taken by leaders during the annual summits are also non-binding. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to Kashi Vishwanath Dham corridor. 
or the project, you can say. The Prime Minister laid the foundation stone of the Kashi Vishwanath Dham in March 2019 and the project is designed to provide easy access for the disabled and old age people with provision for ramps, escalators and other facilities. So we have to select the correct statement. Both of them are correct. Answer is option C. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is on a two-day visit to Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh from today where he inaugurated the rejuvenated and transformed Sri Kashi Vishwanath Dham. It has been developed under the supervision of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and laid the Prime Minister laid the foundation stone of it in March 2019. The project is designed to provide direct connection of Ganga Ghats to the Kashi Vishwanath Temple. The project is designed to provide easy access for the disabled and old age people with provision of ramps, escalators and other amenities. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to the National Helpline again against atrocities on scheduled cars and scheduled drives. The helpline will be available round the clock on a toll-free number 14577. The service will be available in Hindi, English and regional language of the states and union territories. It has been launched by NALSA. So we have to select the incorrect statement. So as you can see, the helpline number is wrong here. It should be 14566. And second is definitely correct and it has been launched by Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. So first and third are incorrect. Mm. The correct answer is option B. A national helpline against atrocities on scheduled castes and tribes to be launched on Monday. It is launched by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment with a aim to ensure proper implementation of the Scheduled Castes and Scheduled Tribes Act. Also, it was enacted with a view to preventing atrocities on members of SCs and STs. It will be Available round the clock with a toll free number. On a toll free number, the number is 14566. It will be available in Hindi, English, and regional languages of states and union territories. The objective of the helpline is to build informed awareness about the provisions of the law that are aimed at ending discrimination and provide protection to all. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to Meenakshi Temple. It was built by Kula Shekharar Pandyan. It has been built in Vesara style. So we have to select the correct answer. First is definitely correct. Second is not because it has been built in Dravida style. So first is correct. Second is not correct. The correct answer is option A. Famous Madurai Manakshi temples open to the public from Monday. The state Hindu religious and charitable endowment department announced on Sunday that visiting persons are required to have a vaccination certificate. The Manakshi Amman temple also known as Manakshi Sundareshwara temple is one of the oldest and most important temples in India. Also located in the city of Madurai, the temple has a great mythological and historical significance. It is built by Kula Shekharar Pandyan. Architectural style is Dravidian. Dedicated to Meenakshi, that is Goddess Parvati and Sundareshwarar, Lord Shiva. Tradition is Shaivism. And major festivals are Tiru Kalyanam Festival and Chithirai Thiru Visa. Moving on to the last question. Which of the following states is hosting the International Science Festival? The correct answer is... Option A, Goa. Union Minister of State, Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh inaugurated the 7th edition of the Indian International Science Festival at Panaji, Goa. The main aim of the science festival is to bring into use the innovations by the people and develop technology that is affordable to the masses. The theme of the 4-day science festival is Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, celebrating creativity, science, technology and innovation for prosperous India. Moving on to the practice question, consider the following statements. The governor may issue ordinances under Article 213 of the Indian Constitution. The governor is not bound by the advice, advice of the Council of Ministers. So we have to select the correct statement. As I hope that you are going to answer it correctly. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.